Hi everyone, this is Austin behind Origami Guy 04. Happy Thanksgiving! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this origami turkey drumstick or turkey leg. And this is a really nice model and it looks very delicious. <laughs> See? And it's got a nice bone here at the end and it's got some nice meat. So yeah, this is a turkey drumstick. And I'm going to teach you all how to fold it right now. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So, this model is best folded from a sheet of kami that's brown on one side and white on the other. So you'll get a model like this. But instead of brown, I'm going to use a sheet of orange because my desk is brown. So, orange and white. So this is for the meat, and this is for the bone. Alright, so, oh, and by the way, this is a 6 by 6 inch square. But you can use any type of paper for this model. Alright, so let's begin with the bone side up, or in this case, white side up, and we're going to fold in half diagonally. Oh, by the way, I want to mention that this model is actually a slight variation of this origami Santa hat, which I'll be teaching next week in my next video. So, for that tutorial, click right here when it's available. Alright, so fold diagonally in half, and crease sharply. Okay, unfold, and now we're going to make a kite base. So we're going to take these two raw edges and fold them to the center crease. Okay, crease sharply and repeat. Alright, rotate and now we're going to take this flap and fold it up right over the edge. Okay, crease sharply. Now unfold, and now we're gonna just lift up these two flaps and just refold this flap in like this, and then reclose it. There you go. All right, now we're gonna do is we're actually gonna work on the bone. So we're gonna rotate like this, and I don't have an exact reference for this fold, so you're kind of on your own for this. But we're gonna do is we're gonna take this flap and fold it up. I'm guessing if you want the bone to be bigger, you fold it up more. But if you want it to be smaller, fold up less. I'm going to go just somewhere in between, so a decent sized bone. So about like this. Increase that good. Now unfold. And now we're going to do is we're going to open sink this point inside. So we're going to open here. And see these three creases here? We're going to pinch those mountain folds. So we'll start here. This crease is already good because it's already a mountain, but this one we need to make, like that. And now turn the model over like this, and just bring everything in. There you go, just like that. Alright, now take these two flaps, we'll start with one, and fold them out like this as far as they go. And make sure the raw edges align. And there you go. Now take this flap and fold it up in between these two corners. Okay, just like this. Oh look, it already looks like a fan hat. <laughs> but no, it's Thanksgiving, so we're making a turkey leg. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn over, and we're gonna take this corner, and we're gonna fold it. Oh god, this gets pretty small. Take this raw corner and fold it up to the intersection of the crease and the edge. So right there, at the center. And this would be this would be easier if I used a like a 10-inch square or something, a bigger square than this. Okay, now fold it up right over the edge. Unfold, and now we're gonna tuck it inside. Like that. There you go. Alright, now it's just kind of round these sides out, so there's no reference for this, just do it to taste. They're about like that, good, just fold that inside. See, this is what it looks like on the side here. And same here. There you go. Alright, and now uh, we'll finish the rest of it later. 
but let's work on the meat now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, well, we're gonna take this edge and fold it to the center on both sides. So let's start with this side. Think of when we're making a paper airplane. So we're folding it in just like a paper airplane. And same here, take this edge and fold it to the center. Okay, unfold. And now we're gonna inside reverse fold these two flaps. So we're gonna open and we're reversing this crease into a mountain fold as we're doing this. And we're just gonna just tuck this corner inside just like this and flatten it. And same on this side. So open here, reverse that valley into a mountain fold and tuck this corner inside. See, just like this. All right, now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this flap and fold it up right on this corner. And make sure the edge aligns with the center. Okay. And same on this side. You can just take this corner and fold it up to this corner. All right, like this. And now we're gonna do is uh, take one flap, I'm gonna do this one, and we're gonna squash it. So uh, just take the flap, stick it up, and it's best to use like a pin or something and just put it inside the pocket and just squash the flap like this. And make sure that this raw corner aligns with this edge. Crease sharply. All right, now just to get the flap out of the way, let's uh, just tuck it under there for now, just for now, so it's out of the way. So that way we can do the flap. So lift it up, stick something inside there to get the pocket open, and squash it, and make sure the corner aligns with that middle crease. All right, and now comes the, the fun step. I like this step a lot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this flap and we're gonna insert it into this pocket here. And it's going over that interior flap. And I like this step a lot because it makes a really nice lock. But it's not really locked right now because uh, it's, <laughs> I don't know why. But it's not locked right now, but we're gonna make it lock. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this raw flap and fold it in between these two points here. Okay, unfold. And now we're gonna take this flap and tuck it inside on the existing crease. Like that, see? And that made it lock a little bit better, but to really make it lock better, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Take this flap, fold it down on the crease and take this corner and fold it to the intersection of this crease and this edge. So right there. And it helps to use the desk and do it on there instead of in the air. <laughs> okay. Make that fold really, really sharp and then fold it back up like that. All right, and now we're gonna do the same thing right here. So fold this up, fold the corner to there. Okay. And then fold this flap over like that. And there you go. See? Now that now it's really locked, so it won't come undone. See? And there it is, the lock. I really like that sequence of the model. It's interesting. Okay, turn over. And now comes the most hardest step of the whole model, but I'm gonna do my best to show you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it up right on this corner. And then on here, we're gonna make a spread squash. So fold it like this on the corner. And then on here, we're making a spread squash and just spread squash it however it squashes. 
So just do it however it does it naturally. It's okay if it gets a little bit messy. This is the back side of the turkey leg anyway. So just take it and it's gonna spread there and that's good. Alright, spread squash it. <laughs> and there you go, that's how you do it. Yeah, not great, but good enough. It doesn't matter, this is on the back. And we just make sure uh, that looks good on the side. Okay. And if you didn't do it on this side, you got another try here. So fold this up on that corner. However, it's fine. I don't have a reference for this fold. And then on here, just make a spread squash however you can. That's pretty much the only way to flatten it, is make a, a messy spread squash. There we go. There, that's good enough. See? And that gives it that little space for the bone here. Alright, and now it's just all about rounding the turkey leg now. So, just take these corners and fold them in to taste. No references, just to taste. Alright, and turn over, and there it is, the turkey leg. So, if you like it like this, then you're all done. But I'm gonna show you how to make it uh, look like this. So, uh, we're gonna make the- oh, wait, 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 no, we're not quite done yet. There's still one step we need to do. But I'll show you how to do this after this step. We need to make that little crevice part of the bone. So, it's really easy. All you have to do is just fold this part, just like that, and then make a little inside reverse fold right here. To taste, there's no reference. There we go. See? That gives it that little crevice of the bone. And I don't really like how this looks like a heart. It looks like a heart. And you might like it just like this, like a heart, but I'm going to show you how to make it look like this. And I think it looks better this way. So, we're going to make a pleat fold right here. So, gotta zoom back in here. So, we're going to make a mountain fold in between these two corners. So, just undo that uh, reverse fold for now, and make that mountain fold. Okay. And then now we're going to make a valley fold. Oh, got to redo that fold there. <laughs> Didn't do a very good job. Okay, now we're going to make a valley fold somewhere right here. We, we need to take this edge here, and we're going to fold it so it goes beyond that point. That way, for sure, we don't see any white there. So, yeah, about like that is good. I don't have exact references. And let's turn over and just make these folds nice and sharp. There you go. All right, now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and fold it up right on. We're folding it up pretty much as far as it goes. And I don't have a reference for this either, but just about maybe like this is good. See? So, right on that point. And same here. So just fold it up as far as it goes to taste. Alright, and once you did that, believe it or not, we are done with our origami turkey leg. Oh, gotta make that little first fold there again. <laughs> there we go. And this is also optional, but uh, you can give it some curvature, like I did with this model, so just give it some curving there. But I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to just keep it like this, because it's cleaner and easier. And you could also round it off even more, but nope, I'm just going to keep it like this. I'm done with this. So yeah, so I don't really know what else to say, except it's a really delicious looking model. An origami turkey drumstick. So yeah, there it is. Alright, well, hope you guys were able to follow this video and uh, enjoyed making this origami turkey drumstick. And make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.